guys get to see this on my birthday. Somebody touch my spot. I can't wait till the future because I'm about to get this channel popping. Since he was so precious. Did you say precious? <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about how to make firebomb edits on the Gram's Heat. <laughs> the last couple months I really enjoy making Instagram videos because you can make them fast paced, real boom bapper and really go with all the music. I want to dive into a video I made over the last couple weeks. How to find the music, how to make sure it ends properly and how to get it on Instagram. A lot of times I was having issues trying to find a uh, YouTube to Instagram converter. There's one I use, it's a little inconsistent, but I have a better way on getting videos onto the Gramsci. Uh, first thing you gotta figure out is what song you wanna use, what song you're vibing to, what kind of feel do you want it. I like to go with like, like a real hip hop type song usually on the gram, just kinda keep it real upbeat for, you know, to make sure you flex on Instagram. Y'all feel me. I always pull old clips from over the past couple years and I just intertwine them together to create a little story, but nothing that's gonna be boring. Ain't nobody got time for that. On Facebook, you have to get the point across quick, get the first opening scene, boom, 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 and I usually keep my first segment within two seconds. I never really let a segment go past two seconds realistically. Sometimes three depending on what it is. Keep it very boom boom bop, like on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. That's why I like using hip hop for it. Audience's attention and you'll be able to get them views up. I edit on Final Cut Pro, so basically I pick a song and I figure out where I can have one minute or under a minute. Sometimes I'm lucky to have it like exactly at a minute. Sometimes there's more I wanna capture. So if you hear like for this song, Two girls, that's a tandem. She gonna do it all for me when the bands come. Beat in the beginnings similar for like seven seconds. So I was able to clip seven seconds out of it and just go straight into the middle of the intro. And that way it gets to the point quick. Like he starts rapping quicker. It's also very important to keep with the beat. Every time a beat hits, either wait to the next or switch it up, but always end the scene on a beat. Say if you weren't able to end the scene on the beat, you'll see me do like a different transition. So if it doesn't end on a beat, instead of cutting it, I always do like a transition where it'll pan or collapse or do some crazy stuff. Everybody ain't got it understand, son. Yeah, this shit is not random. Okay. And also when the beat drops, make sure you have your best clip in specific video the second the beat drop it was my buddy joe it's my word and not the word i'd like to i know she gonna be joe clary homie we were like right on his door i was in pass i was riding passenger this was actually from the last not this year but like last year so as the beat drop i hit uh this clip because i was gonna put this clip later but it, you always want your first when your beat drops you want to make sure that is fire man and also don't be afraid to use backup clips where like not backup clips of background to give it substance so like i usually film on drives when i'm driving so like i'll put a little clip of me driving so if i ever need to change scenery so say like i'm filming in club loose and the video is heading to north i'll do a quick segment of me driving no i'm not the type to follow bullshit i'll give the hype to i can see the fake so when i look in your direction understand i'm seeing right through if i have a this one has a boston sign in it and all of a sudden i'm in north it's into the lyrics so if like if it, it starts off two girls that's a tandem and it's two people tandem and then also like when it, i know she's gonna be ready when i slide through and i have some I meow mean, to slide in so uh just always listen always have like you want to make sure that you have your videos relate to your song like whether it's um by effect or the actual content of the video you just want it that to be popping also you have to be careful on the lyrics because sometimes if it's talking about fakes make sure your friend's not in the clip because then it's 
seems like the shots thrown out, you know what I'm saying? Also, when the video ends, remember on Instagram, it's gonna loop right into the, it's gonna start all over again. So what I do is I do my logo and I try to do the same filter or any, if I'm, any adjustments that was made on the last clip, I try to keep identical to the first clip. So that way when it loops, it looks like it never ends. That way it's not like, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like creation, little tidbits, little explanation. So for exporting, say you're on Adobe, Pro, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, whatever. You export it, get it on your computer. Then you want to upload, get Google Drives, get a Google account. You probably have one because you probably have a Google account if you don't have one. Upload the video to the Google account. Download the app, Google Drives. Google Drives, you're going to be able to see what you upload to your drives. From there, you can download the video on to your phone. And then from there, Upload it to Instagram. Make sure you're using all the fire hashtags for all, all the cheeks no, to start no, flying. No. Just a little breakdown on how to make a fire Instagram video. Let me know what you guys think. Post in the comments below what you would like to know if, when regarding Instagram, YouTube, anything, how to make it. Um, I'm supposed to make how do I make my vlog video, but that's super, super in like in depth. I will do that one day. I promise. I'm gonna do, be, be doing more videos on this style where I'm just sitting down explaining how I do some things. So make sure you post in the comments below what you want to know. Happy freaking Wednesday, man. Today's my birthday, so you know what I'm saying? But I don't want you to post happy birthday. Let me know what you wanna know. All right, guys, holla at your boy. We love you. Happy freak. Nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back